Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That's gonna alert you to when I'm doing new uh, uploads or live streams. So today from Sazerac Company, this is gonna be the Caribou Crossing uh, Single Barrel. Uh, this specifically is one of their, what they call a master distiller pick. And I believe this is done by uh, Drew Mayville two or three times a year. If somebody does know more information regarding that, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Uh, again, this is a Canadian whiskey, uh, Caribou Crossing uh, Single Barrel. Uh, mash bill on this, undisclosed. Uh, this is coming in at 80 proof or 40% uh, ABV, uh, non-age stated, and MSRP on this for uh, this one was right around that $55 uh, price range. So it could fluctuate a little bit based on where you are. So uh, typically what I try to do with all or most of my reviews is we'll go through the appearance, we'll nose it, taste it, and then get into any other general uh, information. So, all right, let's go ahead and we'll get into the, uh, into the review. So as you can see, color wise, this is like a kind of a light honey, almost like a light apple juice uh, type of color to that. So uh, one thing I always like to try to do is uh, for uh, a couple of reasons is, um, is to move the whiskey around in the glass, let it kind of maybe open up a little bit. I've let this maybe sit out for approximately 10 minutes or so. So it shouldn't really need much more um, you know, airtime with it, again, only being 80 proof. And the other is I like to move it around the glass just to see maybe how oily it is and if it's kind of sticking to the glass, uh, okay. And this actually, for an 80 proof bourbon, uh, or excuse me, an 80 proof whiskey, is, is really kind of uh, sticking to the glass pretty, pretty nicely. So, all right, let's get into the, uh, into the nose. Hmm. So right away, there's a nice spice actually coming off of this. Definitely some of that kind of like sweet corn. Slight nutty aspect to it. Hmm. Some barrel influence, it's light, but there is some, some oak that's there. Uh, and some sweetness, almost like a, like a marshmallow type of sweetness to it. And a light, kind of a light cinnamon note. So a really interesting kind of uh, uh, nose to this. So, all right, let's get into the uh, taste. Cheers. So my first thought with this is it's actually very like velvety, like a creamy mouthfeel. Again, like the nose, there's this nice spice aspect to it. Again, for only 80 proof, um, you're hit with a, a fair amount of spice on this, um, which I really wasn't uh, expecting that much. But again, really nice, nice spiciness to it. Again, there's a little bit of that barrel influence, you know, some of the corn presence. Again, light oak, you know, some of that kind of light vanilla, maybe a, a, like a underlying caramel aspect to it as well. Very little heat. Again, you wouldn't expect that to be um, on much or, or any, you know, 80 proof uh, whiskey. Again, that spice, the creaminess to it. A little bit of that barrel influence. Maybe even a touch of like a light honey uh, to that. It drinks a lot nicer than I would say most or really any of the 80 proof bourbons or whiskeys that I've had in the past. I was really shocked as to how much spice is really coming off of this. And again, I don't know if that has a little bit more to do with just the profile of it itself. Uh, or the fact that it's a distiller pick and maybe he did some hand picking and, and picked something that was a little bit more on the spicy side. So I'll be interested to, uh, to hear your comments, um, you know, uh, in the description below to, um, you know, as to are those some of your, your kind of thoughts with this, but, um, you know, again, that's, there is that sweetness. There's a definitely some of the barrel, some of that spice, there's the underlying sweetness, like the sweet corn, 
Uh, maybe even again a, a little bit of that light honey uh, to it as well. And you still get, you know, that that caramel, that kind of vanilla. Those are a little bit muted, so they're not you know in the forefront. They are there, but you know overall, I think it's a really nice. Uh, whiskey, and I think it would be a good comparison to maybe try to find at some point another one of these that's not a distiller pick, just to see if this is a little bit more off profile uh, or whatever it may be. But really nice, um, easy sipping, you know, eighty proof uh, whiskey. So I think they've done a really, really nice job with with this uh, with this whiskey. Now, is it something I'd want every day? No, I mean, there's not. A lot going on with it, but I think it really offers a fair amount. Now, again, when you start comparing uh, prices and what else you can get, fifty-five dollars for me is maybe a little bit pricey for this. Again, low proof, um, you know, nice sipping bourbon or excuse me, whiskey. But I'd like to see this maybe more in that forty-ish, you know, dollar range. That would make it much more, um, I think. You know, easy to to you know to purchase, um, you know things along those lines. But again, you know the Caribou Crossing single barrel. I think it's a really nice kind of everyday type of um, you know sipping whiskey, especially if you're not looking for something that's just gonna completely you know blow your mind or be a high proof uh, whiskey. This would be a, a nice alternative. Um, I guess finish wise, if we go back to that, this is probably on the the short, maybe even short side of medium. I don't think it even really gets to the medium uh, side of things, um, you know, but again, it leaves you with that kind of nice, that nice, uh, you know, baking spice type of, of note, along with a little bit of oak and still some of that underlying, uh, you know, sweetness to it. So overall, I think it's a pretty, um, you know, nice 80 proof uh, whiskey. So I'd recommend, you know, giving it a, a, a shot and just kind of see if it's something that may, you know, work work for you. So, so with that being said, so like, subscribe, you know, make sure you leave comments below. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts on um, the particular whiskey that I'm doing a review of. And with a lot of the, um, you know, Canadian followers that are out there, I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts if this is something that's more readily available in your area. Um, I don't see it all the time. Once in a while it pops up and, and they're kind of gone right away, but I was able to pick this one up uh, while I was uh, out of town on vacation. So uh, again, so like, subscribe, leave comments below. Um, you know, make sure you're, again, hitting that you know, like button, the subscribe, all of that. So uh, with that being said, I wanna say thanks for tuning in to another uh, review. And as always, and like I say, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers. Mm -hmm.